discuss group pro um, what it is how it works uh, how it helps you if you're using hard ops um, and just how it is used on my side um, if it's something that you're interested in under the um, hard ops add-ons tab under the add-on preferences there is a link to the web page that will give you a discount on the product if you choose to get it through your connection to hard ops um, with that let's go ahead and begin so uh, this object that we made in the last video is like comprised of tons and tons of just little ob objects. You know, if we tried to just select everything and control J, our bevels would uh, overtake each other. and it, it turned into a bloodbath, you know. So this plugin really comes in handy for a very specific need that's created by a lifestyle of uh, slicing without remorse. You know, a life of box cutter, you're, you might as well be Logan. So I'll deselect this empty. And so all these pieces, we move them around. We see that this is isolated. I'll press Control X. So you know I love Control X in edit mode. This tool already spoke to me when they put Control X in object mode. So under the Control X uh, handy dandy pie menu, you can choose to create a group. We'll press Shift C to put the cursor in the center. Control X, set group origin, 3D cursor. So now this is a thing. We'll just hide that. We'll hide this now for now as well. Uh, I'll explain why I have that here in a bit. And we'll select this along with this empty. And we will create a group. Uh, we'll set the origin back to the 3D cursor in the center. And we'll hide this as well. And so lastly, that leaves us with this stuff. So we could do a couple of things here. Um, you know these pieces I'm actually going to bring forward a bit because they are quite um, quite in there and I want to select all of this because this will be its own group and uh, you know from there we could make it do something cool so we'll control X create group shift C uh, group origin 3d cursor so that's that and then with this stuff um, you know, unless we want to make the latch open, we'll just, we'll just leave it for now. Shift C, set the origin to the center, just makes it easier. So now we have these pieces that can, um, you know, be handled separately, but as large objects. In fact, um, if you remember my classic tutorial of making a sci-fi HUD, um, you know, let's, let's go here, locate the Y rotation. Here we go. And right here in the Y rotation, this has nothing to do with Hard Ops or Group Pro, but might as well do something cool while we have it uh, right where we want it. 0 .0, uh, 0.0.15. So pound frame times 0 0.15. We'll press enter. It will turn purple. And now this will just rotate forever. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Over here on the side, uh, let's be a little bit riskier. I'm going to actually use a control X, but I'm going to use isolate edit group. And, you know, we want to actually, um, close this group and close it again. Let's see, edit group. This group's inside of a group. We'll move it from the group, then close the group. So basically this is now no longer in some group that no longer exists. Uh, sorry about that. Um, now, where was I? Oh, yes, we we're going to edit this group. Take these objects. These objects are now belonging to us. There's a plane in here. That's what I actually want. So we will create group, close group. Now this is its own group. And the other side, we see got a little screwed up. So we'll set the group origin to 3D cursor, which will put it back in the center. And things are looking 
fairly good without any cleanup. So we can actually, on the x-axis for this one, just put pound frame times 0 0.25. So we'll spin a little faster than the back. And, you know, I do this for really no reason at all. Then, you know, why not? So even down here, we've got some very strange decal garbage. It's a good decal because it didn't show up in the render. I would have got that immediately. Uh, we will remove this from the group and then close the group. So now this is its own thing. We'll uh, apply the location, ap apply the uh, scale, apply the rotation. Looks like I can see it from a distance messing up the bevel, so we'll fix that. And so while we got this thing all to ourselves, let's um, frame times uh, 0 0.35. And so now this is uh, kind of what we have going on here with Brute Pro. So there's there's a bunch of instances of this that are being used all over it. But in this case, you know, y'all have seen me make instances, combine instances, separate objects out of instances, make them do their own thing, i.e. this rotation stuff. So we'll just put this one back. But as you know, this insert is built up out of a bunch of different parts as well. So this is a group of parts this is a group of parts, this is a group of parts, like, you know, this is obvious stuff, you don't need me to tell you. Well, on layer one, underneath, um, I have more instances of the first one, we'll put those back, and I have a bunch of clones on an empty of a group instance of a mirrored version on another side. So, I mean, this is a crazy object built up out of a crazy assortment of whatever gets the job done, right? So we're gonna shift C, put our cursor in the center to really show you the magic of this damn tool. Control X, create group, set origin to 3D cursor. 3D cursor, and we look at this and it's set. This is a single object, a single object. So to show you how, how you know, I use this tool myself, you know, when I make an object like this, I'll put a sphere around it We'll use Q, wire mode, unrenderable. And we'll just take this object, pairing it to the sphere, uh, keep transform. We'll just lift this up, close the T panel, open the end panel, or vice versa. Maybe I'm stroking out. Um, we're going to go ahead and just set active and calculate mass. Um, this thing feels like garbage. Just kidding. But we'll use garbage. And we'll just rotate this. On layer two, I have, you know, the pro lighting setup stuff. So we'll just make that passive. And now we can just drop this thing out the sky and just have it roll. So, you know, you see me on Twitter all the time. I'm like um, making these renders of like cubes falling out the air. And really the, the cube falling out the air is like the afterthought. That's just something that just randomly happens as a byproduct of all this awesomeness so with everything group pro like a pro i could just press shift z and because that thing is set to unrenderable under the f6 option it should not show up in the render and with that we have our piece here everything's rotating independently maintained um I had a chance to talk with the creator a little bit about the plugin itself and why he felt it was uh, so costly. And all I can say is there's math and work behind it that definitely shines whenever you use the tool because it's very, very well made. Um, you could try Super Grouper or any of these other grouping plugins and it'll fall somewhat short of the potential of what this thing can be. This is, in my opinion, the ultimate group solution. Um, not saying that as a paid advertisement, just as a testimonial of a person using it. Um, I want something that's quick and easy. I want something I can give to other people and they don't have to touch the asset. So this thing has been great for that reason, is that when people are um, working with me and they need to just have it as a reference model, it creates the perfect reference models. And then if you need to edit it, just control X, get to work. So. Like I said, if um, you're new to hard ops and you're interested in the discount, all you have to do is just update your hard ops through the sales page and there will be a discount link provided. 
uh, under the add-ons tab. Just to bring that up real quick, I'll just press Control alt u uh, press 9 to bring up Hard Ops 9. And the link to pick it up is just right here. So I do hope everyone picks it up and shows their support so that way more people will um, sign up for this program of having their plugins promoted through us for uh, discounts on operatives. Because I feel that that would definitely um, improve the uh, relationship that uh, some of these sellers have with the community and making these tools usable is having it implemented into a workflow that is... Um, you know, gaining more traction as people pick up hard ops. So with that, enough promotion. We'll go ahead and just cut out the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.